In this video, we are going to learn how you can send medicine purchase reminder to customers on WhatsApp. So you are having some customer details in your Google Sheet who have already purchased some medicines from your medical store. Now you want to send a purchase reminder to them. For that, first of all, we are going to correct the customer details whose medicines are going to get over and then we will be sending them a purchase reminder message on their WhatsApp number to order the new medicines. For that, you need to integrate Google Sheets with WhatsApp. So how you can set up this automation using Pabli Connect, for that you need to come to my screen. To send medicine purchase reminder to customers on WhatsApp, first we need to log into P-A-B-B-L-Y, Pabli.com. This is the website of Pabli. Now here we can find two options, sign in, sign up free. If you are a new user, you have to simply click on sign up for free button and you can create your own account in just two minutes and you're going to get free tasks every month. If you're already a user of Pabli Connect, simply sign in. From the All Apps section, access Pabli Connect. This is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here we have to create a workflow. For that, click on this plus sign, create workflow. Now here we have to give a name to the workflow. So let us give the name as Send Medicine Purchase Reminder to Customer on WhatsApp. Here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement and simply click on Create. Now we can see a trigger window and an action window. So Pabli Connect works on the concept of trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens, action means do this. So in this particular use case, we want to send the medicine purchase reminder messages to the customers on their WhatsApp number. So here we are having some details of the customer in our Google Sheet who have already purchased the medicines from our store. And here we have got the patient name, his mobile number, his email address, medicine type. Here we have got the purchase date and the end date. So by this particular date, the medicine will get over. Okay. So now we want this workflow to run at a specific time regularly. For that, we have to just open this trigger window and here let us choose the application name as Schedule by Pabli. Now it is asking how often you want to run your workflow. So we want this workflow to run every day. So I'm just going to select every day from the drop down and the timing should be 10 a.m. in the morning. And now let's click on Save. Successfully scheduled. So here we can find the workflow is scheduled every day at 10 a.m. in the morning and according to UTC time zone, it will be 4.30. So as I am in India, the time is captured in the local time that is 10 a.m. Okay, so now we want to send the messages to the customers whose data we are having in our Google Sheet. But the messages should be delivered just two days before the end date. Okay, so that the customer may get the time to buy the medicines. So here we have got the end date. So we are going to retrieve the date on which the messages needs to be sent to these patients. For that, come back to Pabli Connect and let's scroll down. Come to this action window and here choose the application name as date and time for matter. Select the action event as modify current date. Click on connect. Now here we have to select the date format. In which format we want the date. So I want the date in DDMMN YY format. So I'm going to select the same over here. Now it is asking for the time zone. In which time zone you want to set the dates. So I'll be selecting the time zone as Asia Kolkata time zone as we are in India. Now here we have to select the operation as add. Unit as days and the value would be 2. So I want to add two days to the current date so that the messages can be delivered to the patient just two days before the end date. Okay. And now let's click on save and send test request. And here we have got the date that is 24th of October 2022. So today's date is 22nd of October 2022 and two days are added to the date. So we have got the date as 24th of October 2022. So now we are going to search for this particular value in our Google Sheet. So here we'll be searching the end date column and here we'll be searching the date that we have got over here. For that, click on this plus sign to add an action step. And here we are going to choose the application name as Google Sheets. Select the action event as lookup spreadsheet rows. Click on connect. Click on add new connection and click on connect with Google Sheets. Now here it is asking me to choose an account to continue to publicly connect sheets, the account in which I have created my Google Sheet. So I'm just going to choose my account from here. Now it is asking for the additional access. So let's click on continue to give away the access as the data is 100% safe with Pabli Connect. Authorization successful. And now the Google Sheets are connected to Pabli Connect. Now as we have created a connection here, we can find all the spreadsheets that I have created in my Google Sheet account. So our spreadsheet name is ABC Medical Store. So I'll be selecting the same over here from the drop down. That is ABC Medical Store. And now the sheet name is automatically captured just because I have created a single sheet in this particular spreadsheet. If you have created multiple sheets from the drop down, you have to select your specific sheet name. Now here it is asking for the lookup column in which column you want to search the data. So here we want to search the data in the G column. 
So here we have to give the column name as G. And here it is asking for the lookup value. What do you want to search in this column? So we are going to search for this particular date that we have got from our date and time formatter. So now we are going to map this date over here. For mapping, simply click it over here, come to the response of date and time formatter and from the drop down, let us map the date. So why we have mapped the details over here instead of copy and pasting? So we have mapped it just because this particular workflow will be executed on every day basis. So every day we are going to get a new date, two days will be added to the current date and a new date will be captured over here. And this particular date will be searched in your Google sheet and then only the messages will be delivered to your new patients whose uh, medicines are going to get over. That is the reason we have to map the date over here. Okay. Now here we have to select the include header in response. You can just keep it as true or false as per your requirement. Sort value as top. Now before clicking on save and send test request, we are going to make the simple response to advanced response so that the data will be captured in the array format. So why we are selecting the data in the array format because there may be the patients who's having the end date as same. Okay, there may be the patient demo two or demo five who have the same end date. So all the details of the patients will be captured over here in Pabli Connect if you're going to capture in the advanced response. Okay, if we'll take in the simple response, only single value will be captured over here. So we want multiple values, make it advanced response and then click on save and send test request. Okay, and here we can see the response is received and in the response result, we have got all the values over here. So now here we have got the data in the array format. So we'll be segregating this data in a proper manner. Okay, so let's scroll down and click on this plus sign to add an action step. And here we'll be choosing the action application as iterator. So iterator basically segregates the data from the array format to the row format. Okay, in the proper manner. And now here we have to choose the array. So it is automatically captured as the response result of the third step. So this array is automatically captured. So you have to simply map the array from the third step. And now let's click on save and send test request. Okay, and here we can see the response is received. And here we have got all the details of the customer or the patient to whom we want to send the medicine reminder messages. Here we can find the patient name as demo name two. We can find the patient ID also, his mobile number, his email address, his medicine type, his purchase date and the end date. So it was row index three. Let us cross check it. This was the row index three. Here we can find the customer name or the patient name is demo name two. The same details are captured over here. Okay. So now we are going to send the reminder message to this particular customer on his WhatsApp number. So let's integrate WhatsApp with Pabli Connect. For that click on this plus sign add action step once again. And here choose the application name as WhatsApp Cloud API. Now select the action event as send template message. Click on connect. Click on add new connection. And now it is asking for the token, phone number ID and WhatsApp business account ID. So to capture all these details, you have to just create a new WhatsApp cloud API account. So how you can create a new API account for that, we have created a separate dedicated video. The link is attached in the description box. You can watch the video and you can generate a new account. So I'll just take you to my WhatsApp cloud API account. And here you can see that I am logged in from developers.facebook.com. And here we have to just click on my apps. Now here you have to create a new app by clicking on this create app button. As you can see, I have already created some apps. I'm just going to access my my connect message app from here. On the left hand side, we can find the WhatsApp option. Click on it and click on getting started. And now here we can find temporary access token phone number ID and WhatsApp business account ID. So you have to simply copy these details. You have to paste and public connect and click on save to create a connection. But here I want to specify you that this is a temporary access token and the validity of this token is just for 23 hours. So if you're using this particular access token to create a connection, your workflow will stop working in a day. So I would recommend you to generate a permanent access token to create a connection. So how you can generate a permanent access token for that also we have created a separate video. The link is attached in the description box. You can watch the video and you can generate a permanent access token to create a connection. So I'll just move back to Pabli Connect as I have already created a connection using my previous credentials. So I'm just going to use the same over here. And now let's click on save to create a connection. And now the WhatsApp Cloud API account is connected to Pabli Connect. Now, as we have created a connection here, we can find all the templates that I have created in my account. So basically template is simply a message that we want to send on the WhatsApp number. As we cannot send the messages directly on WhatsApp, first we need to create a template. We have to get it approved from Facebook. And once it is approved, then only the same template can be used for sending the messages on WhatsApp. 
That is the reason we have to select a specific template over here. So I'll just take you to my WhatsApp Cloud API account once again. And here we can find to create your own message template, click here. So let's click on this hyperlink. And here you can see I have created several templates and got it approved. If you want to create a new template, simply click on this create template button. And how you can create a template for that also we have created a separate dedicated video. The link is attached in the description box. You can watch the video to create your own message template. Now here I'm going to search for the template that I have already created and got it approved. That is medicine alert. So let us find the same over here. Medicine underscore alert. So here I'll just show you the message that I have drafted over here. Hello, this is a friendly reminder for your medicines which are about to finish in the next two days. You may call us for the home delivery or directly buy from our outlet. Thank you, ABC Medical Store. So here I have given number one and number two in the curly braces. So these are the body fields or the variables whose values are going to change every time. So here I want the patient name or the customer name to be displayed. And here I want the medicine name or the medicine type should be displayed over here. So in this particular manner, a message will be generated and it will be delivered to your patient or to your customer. So we are going to use this particular template that is medicine alert over here in Pabli Connect. Let us find the same template medicine underscore alert. Now the language code and the template ID is automatically captured. So we are not going to make any changes. Now here we have to give the recipient mobile number to whom you want to send this WhatsApp message. So here we have to map the recipient mobile number with country code and without the plus sign. So here we have already got the patient mobile number from our iterator response over here. So now we are going to map this mobile number. For mapping, simply scroll down, again click it over here, come to the iterator response and from the drop down, let us map the mobile number. And here remember you have to map the mobile number with country code and without the plus sign. And remember to map the WhatsApp number of the customer over here. Now it is asking for the body field one, that is the customer name or your patient name. Let us find it from iterator response, that was demo name two. And here we have to map the medicine name or the medicine type. Again from iterator and this was diabetic tab 500. And now let's click on save and send test request. Okay and here we can see the response is received. It means the message is delivered to your patient on his WhatsApp number. Let's check it. And here we can find a new message. Hello demo name 2, this is a friendly reminder for your diabetic tablet 500 medicines which are about to finish in the next two days. You may call us for the home delivery or directly buy it from our outlet. Thank you ABC Medical Store. So here things to note are the body fields and their values. So the first body field was the customer name or the patient name which is displayed correctly over here as demo name 2 and here we can find his medicine type. So in this way we can see that our correct message is delivered to the customer and our integration is perfectly working fine. So let's move back to Pabli Connect. So now I'm just going to minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now. Okay, I'll just minimize the trigger window also. So first of all, we have applied a scheduler over here that this particular workflow should be executed every day at a specific time. Then we have applied date and time formatter over here just to get the date on which the messages needs to be sent to the customer. Then we have applied the action step of Google Sheets lookup spreadsheet rules to capture the details of the customer to whom the messages needs to be sent. And we have got the customer details in the array format over here. So we have used iterator action step to segregate the details of the customer. And at last we have sent a medicine purchase reminder message to the customer on his WhatsApp number. And in this way we have learned that how we can send medicine purchase reminder to the customers on their WhatsApp number using Pabli Connect. So not just these software applications, you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect. In case you have any queries, you can just post your queries at Pabli Forum. Our team will surely get back to you. This is our Pabli Connect website. And to know the latest updates and unique automation ideas, you can join our Facebook group that is Pabli.connect. Also, the link of Pabli Connect and this workflow is attached in the description box. You can clone this workflow into your account directly. If you really like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you everyone.